Are you the one you trust? Yeah. yeah. So we've been conditioned. I, I think we have. Well, I know I was. Because I was pulled by the ear by my African stepmother, very Baptist orientated on a Sunday, but the rest of the time the world was just fine. <laughs> anyway, all lessons. I chose the life, he said. I agree, I do. However, he said to me, if you ever mention anything about this to anyone, blow the time. In a real life context. Like the war war all over again. And we were from England yeah, actually. So how do you react as a seven year old? You've seen this thing shimmering. Like two plates, saucers on top of each other. Man definitely didn't manufacture what I saw. Shimmering. One minute and gone the next. But war. So that's fear, isn't it? Induced fear at that age. Well, I'll tell you, I heard of a very, very high ceiling and ring in the air. But definitely was doing something. What? I don't know whether it knew in advance. This guy's no good for Zimbabwe or Indonesia. We've got to get into his head. I don't know. I was only seven. But the migrant for a good 12 years thereafter, a nightmare. So there's two types of zetas. But we're not going to get too technical, okay? Just want to give you an idea. There's a zetic race, G-R-E-Y, and G-R-A-Y. There's a distinct difference between them. But we won't go down that road. All I know is what I suffered afterwards, that was a zetic race that had appeared out of the Gwen vortex, which is connected to the Johannesburg Q2, which at that time was the Zeta headquarters, worldwide headquarters. The Q2 is the second most important link to inner Earth core and controlled by mag magnetic ley lines. Q1 is at Israel, who agrees there's been problems, division, war, ever since. Are you getting an idea? Q2 apartheid, disruption, suffering, deprivation. Say no more there, we know what's happening. Zimbabwe used to be Rhodesia, or as all its sins, whatever, the breadbasket of Africa. They used to produce enough food to feed the whole of Africa plus store feed itself. And in 30 short years, people can't even live on a loaf of bread. And when you see a country that's vibrant, zero unemployment, zero inflation, zero aids, etc, 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 go from that to what we're seeing now and it's spread it's now spread to places like Malawi, anyone know Africa here? Uganda? Uganda? Oh, yeah, yeah. You've anyone been to Africa? 